Hello, and welcome to this Beegraphy tutorial. In this video, we'll learn how to create a beautiful, flowing 3D design using the power of computational design tools available right on the cloud with Beegraphy. We'll explore techniques like curve manipulation, tweening, extrusion, and surface creation, all within a simple and intuitive visual programming environment. Let's get started. The video shows how to create multiple interpolated curves between two initial curves, with the interpolated curves being scaled down in size compared to the original curves. We'll start by creating two curves using the Curve Editor node. You can adjust the shape of the curves by dragging the points on the grid. Now let's adjust the size of one of the curves. We can do this using the Scale node. Connect the curve output from the Curve Editor to the geometry input of the Scale node. Increase the factor value to 1.2 to make the curve larger. Next, use the Move node and connect the curve to the geometry input. We can then control the movement using a vector XYZ node. We'll use range input nodes to set the X, Y, and Z values of our vector XYZ node. Connect a range input to each of the X, Y, and Z inputs. And rename it distance from X. We'll set the minimum value of the X range to minus 100 and the maximum to 100. For the Y range and rename it distance from Y, set the minimum to 50 and the maximum to 200. For the Z range, labeled height, set the minimum to 200 and the maximum to 800. Now comes the fun part. We'll use the Between Curve node to generate a series of curves that smoothly transition between our two initial curves. Connect the original curve from the Curve Editor to the Curve A input and the moved curve to the Curve B input. You can control the number of intermediate curves generated using the Factor input. We'll use the List Sequence SEC node to set how many curves we want to generate. Connect a Range input, node the minimum to 15, maximum to 50 and leave the step at 1 and labeled count. Connect this height output to the divided input of the division node and count output to the ABE input of the division node. Next, connect the output of the between curve node to the curve input of the extrude curve node, and then connect the result output of the division node to the Z input of the vector Z node. This will create a surface from each of our tweened curves. To make our design more interesting, let's extract the edges of these surfaces. Connect the output of the extrude curve node to the surface input of the surface edges node. Then connect the face edges output to the explode node to separate the edges. We can now select specific edges using list item nodes. Connect the explode node to two list item nodes. Set the index of the first list item, node to 2, and the second one to 3. We can refine our selection further by using the Take Nth and Extract subset nodes. Connect the output of the first list item to the flattened tree, and connect the list input of Take Nth, set the end value of the Take Nth node to 1, and leave the start at 1 value. And the output of the second list item, Connect Flattened Tree, and connect to the list input of the Extract subset node. For the extract subset node, leave the start and end values. We create the subtraction node and subtract one from count. The resulting value will be the end of the extract subset node. Now we'll use the graph tree node twice to organize our selected curves into two separate groups. Connect the take nth output to one graph tree and the extract subset output to the other. Finally, connect the two graph tree outputs to the curve 1 and curve 2 inputs of the loft surface node. This will create a smooth surface that blends between our selected edges. Use the apply material node and connect the output of the loft surface to the geometry input. Adjust the color, roughness, metallicity, and material type to achieve your desired look. We've created a unique 3D design using a simple yet powerful set of computational design tools. Beegraphy offers a vast library of nodes and functions. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We hope this tutorial helped. For more on computational design, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the notifications. 
See you in the next tutorial.